Today we're going to be creating a really simple snowflake ornament. So stick around, we're going to jump right in. Right, jumping right into this snowflake ornament we're going to be creating, the first thing I need to do is I need to set a boundary for my sizing. So we're going to just do a simple sketch on the front plane. Um, grab our circle and we're going to set this right here in the center and I need to make this about five inches and we'll say enter. So now I've got a rough outline for the size. Let's then I need to insert our template. So you can design these freehand or you can insert template. It's totally up to you by following this. I've got my snowflake pattern right here. I'll add that. And I want it on that same plane. So if we zoom out a little bit, should be able to grab that. And you'll notice, hey, that's kind of small. So we're going to resize this up and get it the right size. So somewhere right in there is probably what I'm looking for. And I'm just looking at this section here. So I'll say, OK. Now, the next step is I need to trace this. And then we'll do an extrude. So I'm going to create a sketch. Again, on that same plane, zoom out so I can grab it. I'm going to actually turn off the original sketch here. And we're going to just create this in sections. So the way I like to do it is I'm going to create one line here. I'm going to use this line a little bit later. And then I'm going to actually just recreate that line again. So come up here going to come to the top or as close to it as possible and just start creating our outline. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, just something that looks like this. So I'm going to trace this and then we'll talk about the next step. Now I've got this side traced, I'm going to just do a very simple mirror. And so I'm going to select the sections I would like to mirror. Okay, so I've got those selected. Um, and my mirror line is going to be that first line I created here. And we've got it. Now you're going to notice, hey, that doesn't actually match up on the other side. Well, that's because this was a, a snowflake design. And when you mirror stuff, uh, it doesn't actually line up the way you think it's going to, which is really fun. So I'm going to say, okay, now the next step is I need to add in this section here. Um, and the way that I like to do that is just creating one half of it. Um, and sometimes it's actually beneficial to do those seconds. So maybe we'll do that. So let's select our canvases here and we're going to grab this section. And we're going to just do a simple pattern. So I have two places I can get that circular pattern here or hit create if you don't have it up there and go to circular pattern. I have most of my lines selected. We're going to grab a couple more that are missing. Okay, so I've got them selected. My center point is going to be down here. Um, and if I remember correctly, if I turn on my canvas again, um, I had a six sided snowflake five and we're going to go to six and you'll see hey they, they kind of line up which is great um, so we're going to say okay and now we're going to do the exact same situation or the same steps to create this section of the snowflake so using my same sketch tool we're going to select here out here um, down to here and do that one more time Select here, here, down to here. Um, and so I do this this way so that I can make sure that this, when I revolve this, that these line up correctly. Um, okay, so I've got that. We're now going to do the exact same thing. Do a simple revolve pattern or a circular pattern. Select our same center point, And we're going to do this six times four, five, six. Um, and we're going to say, okay. 
Okay, all right, now that we've got our simple sketch done, we are gonna go over here and turn off this canvas. We don't need that anymore. And we're just going to finish this sketch. And it'll look something like this. Um, next part's pretty easy, just a simple extrude. And we're gonna select all the sections we want. Just like that, we're gonna make sure we create a new body. And then this is where we decide how thick we want it to be. So um, depending on you and how fast you want these to print, this is gonna 100% be whatever fits your needs. So we're just gonna do a single sided extrusion, pull it out here. Um, I'm gonna go with just a simple five millimeters. It's nice and fairly clean and say, okay. And now we can see, hey, um, uh, looks like we missed something in here. So let's go add that um, back to, we'll just go down here, right click, say edit feature. And in our selections, we need to select all of these that we created. And if we zoom in, just make sure we got everything. Now we'll say, okay. And now it looks great. Awesome. So now we've got our simple, very, very simple ornament we've created. Next step is figure out how we want to hang this. So we can add a, uh, a little circle to tie some ribbon through or however you want to hang this. So we're going to design that really quickly. Um, something that I've found that works really well in doing this is to match this outside um, and then to let's see, zoom out, set this here. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to match this with a circle. Oop, control Z. Uh, we need a different type of circle. We need a point to point. Um, so point to point. And then we are going to just run a little offset in here. Um, and I like to make sure that these are at least 1.5. Um, gives us just enough material there and you should be able to get in there with uh, your yarn or your string or whatever you want to tie that with. Now we're gonna say finish sketch and just do one more simple extrude and we are done with the basic shape here. Uh, make sure we change that to a join and we're gonna say, okay. Looks like we gotta do one more of these. We're gonna turn on that sketch. We actually need to select this and delete this out. Say, okay. All right, there we have it. So minimal mistake, easy fix. So there we have it. It doesn't look like it necessarily doesn't belong there, which is great. Uh, and if you wanted to add that circle to all of these to make it more uniform, you could go ahead and do that as well. Some other things that I do with this, um, just understanding that it's going to be more decorative is I do like to add um, a little chamfer on these. Um, and I like to do this whole plane if I can select it. And then I'll usually do the back as well. Now this can give you some fits 3D printing um, just in general. Let's see if we can get both of these here. So we got the back, grab the front side again. There we go. Um, and so I try to keep these very small, but just enough to make them look a little decorative. So, um, so Sometimes, like I'm thinking one on this is what is the most I'm going to be able to do and keep it still looking okay. Uh, so I'll say okay. And I definitely would recommend using a chamfer over a fillet just for 3D printing purposes and understanding how 3D printers work. Uh, won't need any supports on this backside if you do it this way. So there you have it. There's a very simple ornament that's created. Uh, and as you see, just adding that makes it just a little bit, have a little more depth. If you only want to do it to one side, you can definitely add more to it and then just have the back be flat. So it's up to you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end and we'll see you in the next video.